Welcome back. I'm Eugene Salis here at the Garcia Center. And today we are working on our, our previous project of our sketches and our little dice game. And we are drawing with our sand arts. So this project you'll need a pure white square paper, a pencil, bottled glue, and you'll also be using three different colors of sand. We have this orange pink color, this brown color, and this yellow. And you can draw, you can do the dice if you want, or this time you can just pick your choose your favorite design. So I'm gonna just pick and choose my favorite design. I'm gonna use the arrow going this way, then in this direction. And then I'm gonna choose a different design. I'm gonna go ahead and use the fish symbol. So I see I'm drawing it with my pencil. Again, use your regular pencil. I'm using a purple pencil, colored pencil, so you can see it better on the paper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw the cross. This cross symbol. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my moon right up here on top. And again, he's the dice, the paper that we did last time, or you can just pick and choose what you want to do. And the last one, I'm going to go ahead and use the steps. Looking symbol. So now you see me with my, my drawing. I'm going to use a separate sheet of paper to catch my sand. And a good idea would be to do one object at a time. So I'm going to do my moon first. And a separate piece of paper is to help capture all the sand that's loose on your paper so it won't go to waste. Because this is enough sand to cover what you want, need to cover in your project. So I have my sand on my paper, drop it back in my container. You see I have my moon. Next one I'm gonna do is my fish. And I'm gonna use this color right here. And you can use any color you want. Cover my fish. Put in my spare paper so I have all that sand left over. So it won't waste it because all the sand will be very useful to cover your other parts of your piece. So now you see I have two of them outlined. And continue doing this with, all, with the other colors of the sand until you have your own. So I have two samples right here of what you can do with your sand art. And this completes your um, sand, your Navajo sand art painting right here. Thank you for joining me today. I am Eugene Solis here, Eugene Solis at the Garcia Center, and I'll see you next time.